The pieces here you see tonight is actually everything I did in my whole life only in videotapes. I've done many more things in sculptures and performances and architecture and whatever and sound. But here you see all my videotapes. All of what I have ever done in 40 years and this is quite a lot. It's 166 videotapes and uh, they fit in a little Mac computer. We designed uh, over the years a program that makes it able to have all of them in this little box. So everything I've done in my life put, you can put in a box. It's the complete work and it's not a selection from number one until number 166. No matter if the piece is uh, brilliant or if it's so lala, all the pieces, it's a complete work. So it's a kind of uh, survey for art historians and for scholars and for people who really want to know what has this guy done in his life. And uh, maybe it's very interesting in also in the uh, respect that people will find some um, excellent, work, some wonderful works and they will see also some works where they say, aha, you see he's also sometimes not so good. <laughs> I've been working since 69, since the very, very, very first video cameras. I started with bank observation cameras, not a consumer camera, there was nothing on the market. Um, and um, so I have been working in all different formats, in all the ones you can imagine. And in my studio, which is full of thousands of hours of video works, you find the open reels, you find uh, the half inch, you then the quarter, three quarter inch and so on and so on, all different formats. And to transfer them and to work on them and to find them in the studio <laughs> and to uh, finish some of them, uh, was a big, big task. We are showing a number of uh, video sculptures and installations because uh, the 160 pieces in one box and one big projection, it, it, it doesn't look very haptic, it doesn't look very sensual, it doesn't look very attractive to, to, to viewers. You cannot make a show with, with, the, with, the, with this beautiful table where you choose the piece ju -ju -ju, by pictures, du -du 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 -du, and then you say, oh, I would like to see this one, and then you push a button and immediately it's there. So, but it doesn't look like that, like anything. And actually, I wanted that the viewer sitting there, and it's a single viewer with a single headphone, sees the projection. It's not for masses of people. It's an intimate approach to see my videos because my videos are intimate things. And because it, this is, doesn't look like an exhibition in itself, just a box <laughs> and a projection, the museum people, where the exhibition traveled now and is traveling, they always ask, mm, can we not put some more to the show, something here and there? And finally I said, okay. We put some very old video sculptures. One of the oldest is here from 1971. And one of the newest, yeah, the newest is here, there, one of uh, this year and some others in between. For example, we have here an installation which is called Churton Digital. Churton is a Tibetan word and means uh, stupa, the architectures in, in Tibet, which the temples in the, in, the, in, the, in the country, they are looking like this shape and they're called stupas and the Tibetans call them Churton. Churton uh, means precious vessel, precious pot because it contains the ashes of high lamas, of holy people, and so on and so on. Okay, these churtons in Tibet look exactly 
like our television tube, if you take the glass tube out of the TV set, of the old one, of, yeah, not the flat screen, <laughs> if you take it out, it's, it's like this, here is the screen where you look and this is the point where the message comes in and here comes the illusion on the screen. Okay, if you take this tube out of the box and put it on the ground, then you have a stupa. But the big difference between a stupa and our television tubes is that we in the West, we like the illusion of things. We put the illusion, as I said before, in and then down there you have the illusion which you like and enjoy. And the Tibetans say the other way around. They say illusion is bad. Illusion is not the world. The world, everything we experience is an illusion or many illusions. The reality is something else. And to come to the reality, the illusion is down here when you sit and meditate, down in your belly, like this shape of the stupa. And the illusion by meditation goes up, 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 out of the body, out of the head, and if it's out of the head, comes to the meditation point of zero-ness, and there you can experience reality. That's what Tibetan says. So the Tibetans say, get rid of illusion. Illusion is bad. And the Western people say, I want some illusion. So you see, it's a big difference with, between East and West, and this installation shows the same shape with two different meanings. And over the shape is a projection, and the projection is of Tibetan people who are on pilgrimage. They're, they're making pilgrimages around holy mountains, holy temples, holy people. And um, so you see a moving image across these tubes, these television tubes. And because the, the, the moving image is colorful, uh, you see colors climbing up uh, uh, such a sculpture and going down and so on and so on. And th these dirty uh, tubes, they look very precious. And precious vessel, precious pot, is the translation of the Tibetan word Chirten. And that's why the piece is called Chirten. And because it's from our dig digital age, it's called Chirten Digital.